use the mic because I thought I was plugged in. So today I'm going to do a like a quick little haul. Um, just have been out buying some stuff. Um, been completely going over my budget, which I feel kind of stupid for, but it's whatever. I put some gum in. So, yeah. The first thing I'm going to show you is relatively empty. Is these. while I was with my girlfriend got them at the gas station the weird thing is that they're not very good but they're good enough to keep eating I really like the matcha ones or the green tea ones I guess but I like never see them the only time I've ever had them is when we had some foreign exchange students come to my school and they had them and they were so good you guys I got a bag of stuff. Um, I got this monster. This isn't really part of the haul. It's just in the bag, I guess. This is probably one of my favorites. It's the uh, Pipeline Punch. I haven't been drinking these as much because I'm trying not to have stuff with aspartine in it. I think it has it in there. I have a lot of vitamins in here though, which doesn't make it much better, but you know what I mean. I'm actually not seeing aspartame in here. I thought it did. I mean, when I lie, I guess. No, I don't see aspartame. Cool. Doesn't mean it's good though. Okay, but then my girlfriend and I went, went to Target, and so she has this book, and she wanted me to get it with her so we could do them together. She started without me, but it's okay. I love her. So this is the 300 more writing prompts, 300 more writing prompts. So I think there was probably a first book. I think I've owned one of these books before. I used to be really big on writing. Not so much now. But I'll read you the first one. If I could book a flight tomorrow from anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Um, where would I go and why? Okay, money wasn't the object. Mm. I don't know where I'd go, to be honest. I've always wanted to go to Egypt. I think Egypt would be really cool. Going to like Africa or just like around like the Mediterranean. That'd be pretty neat, wouldn't you think? Because I'd love to see the pyramids in person. Because like I've always seen like pictures and stuff. And I'm sure it's like, mm, I'm sure it's a crazy person. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to another one. How do you feel about love at first sight? Have you or do you know someone who's ever experienced it? I don't know about love in first sight, but I will say that I'm probably going to marry the girl that I'm with right now. And we've only been together for like, we've known each other for like two months or three. And we've been together for like about a month or so. And like, I know I'm going to marry her. Just because of how well we get along. Like, I feel like I've known her my entire life. But I don't know. Like when I first saw her. I wasn't like. I love you. Like you know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say. Just kidding. I won't lie about that. Um, I don't think I've ever. Met someone. Who experienced like love at first sight. Just because. Um, everybody in my life has been divorced. At least like once. <laughs> so. I'm not sure about that one. I 
I'm sure it has happened. I'm sure it exists. I'm sure someone's been through it. But I think for some people, like, you know, you got commitment issues or just you want to know somebody more. But yeah, so we got that Target. I don't know how much it was. It doesn't sell in it. And while I was at Target, I also got a total face sponge. Zoe does her makeup, which is my girlfriend, with sponges and stuff, and I never really used a sponge before, so it made me want to get one. So I'm going to open it and try it. I don't know if that's the right way to use like this. I wonder what's the difference. It's not very soft. I don't know what I was expecting it to be like. I was expecting it to be soft. But. I got that. And then. Then we went to an international market. And it's my first time being there. It was not her first time. So I got a few things. So I got this. Um hot pepper paste which is I'm not sure what type of peppers um I'm not gonna try to even pronounce that name I think it's just the brand name but um I've seen this like all over TikTok and for like Korean recipes and so I really wanted to try it I haven't opened it yet yeah, I'm gonna try it on some steak that I have I'm super This was only like five bucks and it is a um, so they had a bunch of different um like spice levels so i got level three which is in between like the middle because there's a mild hot slight hot medium hot which is this one very hot and extremely hot and now i actually don't think they have the extremely hot If this isn't super duper spicy, then I'm going to go for the next bigger one next time. I'm super excited to make some food with this. I also got this QP mayonnaise. I've never tried this, but I've seen it on TikTok. And the text and it feels so weird it's like a bottle so I'm excited to try this and my girlfriend said that it tasted like very egg yolky so I'm excited to try that I'll probably make a sandwich with it even though I don't normally like sandwiches with babies on it but I really enjoyed it because I was looking at it and it says on here unscrew the cap and completely remove the seal and it says, caution, contents might spatter and spot your clothes when you open. And I think that's so funny because I feel like I've never seen something with that type of, like, warning on it. But yeah. I got this. I think it was, like, eight bucks or six bucks. thing I got from the international market was this like these dried instant um rice cakes my girlfriend said that they were the best ones that they sold so and says that they, they have hot sauce on them I'm probably gonna make these tonight
from like that trip. I'm gonna put this stuff back in here real quick. Cause we hung out this past week. Which we weren't going to, but I wanted to see her. <laughs> I wanted to see her before she went because she's not gonna be in the state for a bit. We also went to World Market and a crystal shop. Is that my shoe? So the first thing that I got for the crystal shop was this new bracelet. It is so delight, so delight, so delight. And I got that because my girlfriend really liked it. <laughs> and she thought it was cute. So I got one too. And then she bought me this carnelian heart. Because after our, I want to say, second date. I gave her a carnelian heart, so she gave me one back. That's super cute. I want to correct myself. I know we've been together more than a month because we talked about like our first month together. And then I also got. I still got my first little um, selenite like, tower thing. Uh, I love these things and I want a bunch of them, but I just haven't gotten them. So this was my first one I bought. This was four bucks. I think this bracelet was like eight, eight bucks or something. And selenite is always good to have, so. skyscrapers and I think they're so cute. Alright, and the last thing I have to show you guys is from World Market. And I got this little mushroom soup bowl. I haven't used it yet because I haven't made some soup. But it was $10. I didn't pay $10 though. She got something too, and I can't remember what she got. She got a mini bottle of tahine. I know that. And she got something else. That was not this past weekend, but the weekend before. huge closet of clothes that I wear. So I went to the band store and I got this t-shirt. It's really cool. It has like a really weird texture. I really like it. It was on clearance for like 24 bucks, I think. Or like 14 bucks. But it's an extra large shirt. And it fits me pretty good. But I got another shirt and some a pair of shorts from that band store. And I got them, I sized up and everything, except for this shirt, and that shit did not fit. <laughs> so, I had to take them back, which kind of sucked, but it was okay. I don't know about you guys, but I hate taking stuff back. But I hope you guys had a good weekend, I hope you had a good Mother's Day if you are a mother. Thank you for watching my content, if you're a mom, that's kind of crazy. on a huge crystal haul and I know somebody asked me to do like a crystal collection walkthrough and I will do that on my next day off because I want to take them outside and show you guys them in the sun because they look so cute and pretty. So if you have any makeup, uh, makeup videos, if you have any videos